Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, At Any Cost, Met 1870 from GFT. Uh, we're on the uh, A Day of Battle scenario of the Mars Latour, and uh, we're just moving into the 11 a.m. game turn uh, for Celerity. Uh, uh, I've uh, sorted out the chits, added in the 10th Prussian Corps, uh, which has some units coming on this turn as reinforcements, and uh, the French 6th Corps activation uh, chit so it can start moving so uh, having done all that we'll just go straight into the chit draw phase and the first one out of the cup is the Prussian third core okay uh, nice and early for that let's have a look at that uh, what I think I'll do is I'll uh, do movement uh, off camera to shorten things and uh, just interrupt with anything significant that happens. Okay, so I've moved the third core units uh, around the HQ, chose defensive uh, posture um, that wasn't going to engage. Um, the units up on the heights here, however, were out of command, so we put out of command counters on them. So they don't move with the HQ's units, uh, they work till the end of the step and uh, we discover what they're able to do. Uh, so on this stack we're now able, it's known as cautious, uh, which is half movement. Um, so I think with that what I want to do is to move the artillery up one spot. Uh, this means that uh, there's a full hex range to a lot of uh, French infantry there. With the uh, with the infantry here, I think I'm going to put it in this little uh, this little uh, dip, so that it's not subject to to any fire and uh, is able to um, get out and engage anything that looks like uh, it uh, it needs uh, it needs an assault. Um, Okay, so that's the cautious, and for this unit here, we have a frozen, which means it does absolutely nothing. So that's that uh, activation. Back to the chit draw. We have a beat zone marker for the French. Um, we have three random markers having been put into the chit cup, so um, we could save this for a fire combat, or we could uh, try and uh, get a uh, Bazaine's leadership um, modifier, I think, for next turn. Uh, I think I might do that. So that goes on the command chart. The next chit is... The Prussian General Staff. So again, one division can be activated. Um, so what should we look at here? Um, we could look at the um, Budenbrock division here. Um, have those three units uh, combat here. Um, that allows us uh, an artillery unit of fire. Uh, I do quite like um, activating these guys again though. That would be useful um, to get this artillery unit firing again. Um, or firing for the first time this turn. I think uh, I think we will we will do that. So the activation will be over here. Let's see how that goes. In fact, I think I've changed my mind actually. I'd rather have the Buddenbrock division um, activated. We can use this artillery unit instead, which has a, uh, a good look at, uh, at this guy. Um, we do get plunging fire with this chap. So it is a decision, really. Actually, maybe I'll, I will stick with the uh, Stubbenagel division. Uh, so the result firing here on this hex here was a 7 which is a 
cohesion hit. This means that the largest unit uh, will flip over to battle one side. And um, that's actually the core artillery here. Which uh, blunts its effectiveness by quite a substantial amount there. So uh, it's a good shot there. Um, good use of the general staff there. And uh, that's uh, that's that activation. What do we get next? The Prussian aggressive tactics. Okay, this will take some thought, and uh, I'll get come back with uh, what we're doing there. Well, actually, I believe we need a, a Prussian unit within two hexes. Which we don't have so it's not that useful um, and so we'll put it on the command chart I think command initiative okay okay that chick can be held and what it does is it can be played on a uh, particular Prussian HQ to change its posture after it's been decided so we'll uh, Put that to the side, and uh, it may uh, may affect the cavalry divisions, um, depending on what they're going to do. And we'll go to the next jet. It's uh, the third cavalry division for the uh, uh, for the French. Okay, not doing anything uh, great here. We will fire off the horse artillery uh, into the um, Alvensleben hex here. I've just moved these guys up here, just uh, get it out of the way, but we'll do the fire combat. So that's uh, three halved because we're at uh, effective range four. Uh, effective range is only three hexes, this is four hexes, so it's one and a half down to one. And uh, no plunging fire, and they're not Prussian, so it's just on the one spot. And we get uh, nothing in particular happening there. Okay, uh, next chip. Aha. So we have the Bazaine's Malaise uh, chip come out. So we still have uh, second core and sixth core to activate here. Uh, rather like to see sixth core go back to sleep here uh, rather than second uh, I think hmm. yes keep them out of the battle for a turn so that core won't actually activate this turn and the next chip is the fortunes of war chip um, so uh, we need to roll a dice for that. A five, and the result for a five is degrade next chit. So let's see what that is. And it's a an event chip and that just gets cancelled by the fortunes of war so it never happened let's carry on okay we have another venture here with his groups and guns so before we decide uh, what to do with the crops guns I actually made a, an error here this fire this unit here uh, even though it's at a lower level, um, because it's in the way, um, counts as an obscure uh, uh, to obscure the line of sight. So there's a two column shift, which means that was not a cohesion hit, that was actually a morale test plus two. The dice roll was a one, so I didn't actually suffer the loss uh, at all. Um, just correcting that. Krupp's guns allows uh, an immediate fire by a Prussian artillery unit. Uh, it also has um, the uh, that and that can happen at any time uh, that it's eligible during a turn, 
um, so the chip can be held. Also, you can um, move an artillery unit half its movement and then fire at half strength. That's even a foot artillery unit, so um, it can be quite useful. Um, I think uh, we may uh, we may fire it. Uh, probably get this guy to immediately at opportunity fire here. I think and then use the chit immediately. Rolling a one that had uh, no effect, unfortunately. The next chit. So that's a battlefield conditions chip for the French. Okay, that's a, another chip you can hold, uh, and it effectively uh, provides a two column shift for a uh, assault or fire combat. Um, and uh, also for defending or uh, being hit from uh, assaults, uh, I guess, or assaults or fire combat. Um, you get a two column shift in defense as well. So it's supposed to be uh, obscuring or clearing line of sight or just something that appears that uh, gives an advantage. So, well, we've got the second core to come. Um, might be worth using it for the command event because we would then actually get Bazaine's leadership up to a 1 to 9 dice rolls that only a 0 would not provide defence from the Malays chip next turn. Kind of inclined to do that because I need to get 6th uh, core moving. Alf Tribe's tactic. Okay, this is the uh, two hex move, or oh, sorry, half a movement allowance for Prussian infantry, and then conduct an assault combat with a two column shift. Hmm. So there's nothing much within. Uh, within. Uh, distance except maybe for Flavigny. We have an artillery unit there, um, but we may get warded off by. Oh, it's unlikely to have a cavalry charge. It's a uh, very low TCR, so we could uh, we could send this guy over the top to um, charge into Flavigny. So I think that sounds like a good idea. So let's do that. Uh, oh, hang on, he won't have the movement, it's uh, plus one to go up the slope, so he wouldn't make it. This guy does, but um, I'm not happy about facing that with him, so maybe we'll use this as just a, uh, a command event. Yeah, I think so. Um, not fussed about the reinforcements now, um, I think try and get rid of that Prussian aggressiveness chip maybe next turn as we close up I think uh, okay move on okay so this is the tenth core uh, now we can use the command initiative here once uh, we've decided what the uh, what the um, what the postures of the HQ but it's not really going to make much difference here. We have the HQ, we have a cavalry unit, a medium cavalry unit, and an artillery unit. So um, there's no road movement bonus here. So uh, I think we'll save that. Um, it's not going to do anything for us. So uh, yeah, let's get uh, these guys moving. Okay, they're moved um, around here. So shift that closer so you can see a little bit better. Um, just move the artillery up here. Um, hopefully you can join in with this uh, barrage towards Vionville um, uh, next turn. Well, turn after next after he moves again. Okay, uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, we have the 
6th Cavalry Division here now. Um, I think there's something we said for uh, getting these guys forward. Uh, we have a horse artillery to fire here and some heavy cavalry. Uh, we can't charge into the town there. Um, although we could threaten this area or uh, possibly swap flanks to get over here uh, and threaten there as well. Um, not inclined to charge off with them so we'll set defensive um, and I don't think the command initiative is going to help once it's set for defensive but uh, we'll fire away and we'll move the cavalry okay the uh, fire just uh, managed this cavalry unit to just avoid breaking uh, by uh, one morale pit uh, but it's still there uh, didn't affect the artillery underneath uh, we've moved the cavalry out here it is in line of sight um, but uh, I think uh, we're going to set up to try and uh, take Flavigny next turn and uh, a, uh, a charge here would be uh, uh, very useful um, uh, if there's uh, any more um, any, any more infantry around or something getting in the way so we'll hold it here next chip we're running out of them here so we have the 5th cavalry corps let's have a look at that ok well we've uh, done uh, a couple of good shots by the uh, horse artillery here really laid into uh, this uh, infantry and artillery here uh, essentially uh, the first the first shot disrupted um, both of them uh, and uh, the second shot uh, caused a casualty hit on each one as well so um, uh, yeah it's uh, uh, yeah both morale tests were all very high um, a plus two and a plus three on the results and uh, yeah that's uh, kind of ruined that stack really um, we stacked the ca uh, the cavalry up here, uh, ready for a possible charge next turn, and um, yeah, we just uh, remove the marker for uh, the shaking. Um, in fact, actually, we won't do that. We'll we'll force using the French command initiative because I don't think there's any other Prussian chits. Um, force that into aggressive and so it can't get rid of the shaken uh, it's not very good use of uh, the command initiative but there's nothing much else really to to work with so that's the 5th cavalry division um, activation not much left here uh, we have uh, the 6th corps which of course uh, with Bazaine's malaise does absolutely nothing and we're down to the French second call. So the French bit bit unlucky. Their their two infantry corps come out uh, second, last, and last. Um, uh, but at least it's there now. Uh, so let's see what we do with uh, second call. So uh, what we've done here, uh, we've moved um, a brigade in here. Uh, retreated these guys back from their uh, pounding by the horse artillery here, and now we'll help them to recover. We drew the cavalry and moved an infantry brigade in here to sit with the horse artillery which fired up here uh, but did nothing significant. Um, uh, we've brought the uh, the divisions uh, artillery and mitrailleurs here right to there to start to engage um, at a good uh, good range for the artillery. Um, fired off uh, fire combat down here to no effect as well. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, that's it really. And the core artillery have uh, withdrawn back up here. Um, we'll engage uh, if they come forward. Uh, and yeah, so to uh, 
use our rallying. Uh, we'll remove the disruption from there and I think from uh, the mitrailleurs as well. That's the same unit, so uh, we'll get them back onto at least uh, normal morale. And that's the uh, second core. Uh, that's all the chits, so we uh, just need to uh, uh, do the command uh, event steps and and the housekeeping. Um, so uh, the housekeeping here will be uh, just uh, bring off the Bazaine's Malays chit here and. Yeah, looking at the command, we've got a a good good chance of uh, not having the Pedains Malays next turn. A one to nine roll for the French. So we'll roll that. Uh, we get a nine, so it only just succeeds. But uh, Pedains Malays is uh, counteracted for next turn, and. Uh, on the Prussian side, we've got a one to three to stop the aggressiveness chit. So let's see how that works. That's a four, so that fails. Okay. Right. Uh, and uh, yeah, done the housekeeping. We just need to decide which core next to release for the French uh, for the uh, 1 p.m. turn. Uh, so we've got the, looking further out, we've got uh, the Imperial Guard here, Army Reserve um, Artillery here, uh, Fourth Corps here, Third Corps we've already designated for East, and First Cavalry, so, um, <clears throat> uh, and, uh, yeah, just one, uh, I think, I think it's it's a toss up really between uh the first cavalry and the fourth I think. Happy to keep the Imperial Guard there for the moment and the artillery. Uh I think we'll start getting the fourth moving, so we'll designate that for for one PM. It does get some reinforcements at that point, so uh that will help as well. Uh okay, so that's the 11 a.m. turn. Thank you for watching. So just a um, an appendix to uh, this turn. I've uh, reread the rules and I've uh, got the uh, Bazang's leadership um, procedure completely wrong. So uh, the command vents that are actually played there are uh, the role is made actually when the chit comes up rather than um, you uh, doing the roll the turn before uh, the chip comes through. Um, it's actually on the same turn. So uh, I've uh, wound about and had a look, and we did have two chips there at the time, um, and we rolled a nine for the uh, uh, the actual uh, leadership roll at the end of the turn, which should have been earlier. That wouldn't have prevented the Malays from hitting the sixth core, so no particular harm done there but um, uh, it's the same with the Prussian aggressiveness one as well which I got wrong um, but uh, yeah uh, I do remember that in the future um, but I don't think it really it didn't really affect what was going on and the only real thing was one of the French chits was put on after afterwards uh, which uh, wasn't a lot of point in doing that uh, um, but yeah I'll uh, let that go just uh, uh, my inexperience so uh, Anyway, we'll uh, see what uh, will transpire next turn. Thanks for watching.